Wow, these are big. These are very... All right, and now for the ultimate and final test of the bridge. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in the future military base. And as you can see, we have our wall actually installed. Uh, last time, we didn't end on a very promising note, but I had a backup of this world saved before we made the wall one solid piece, and now the wall is actually not one solid piece, so we have some frames. However, I've had to turn off shadows because shadows was the big thing that was really making my GPU uh, not be able to process things very well. So without shadows uh, runs a lot better. And today uh, I'm going to show you what I did to kind of fill in the wall without it being one piece. And then we're going to take a look at bridges. I mentioned that over on this side, I think we wanted to make some bridges in between the plateaus and I've seen some bridge submissions submissions. So we're going to be looking at some of those and seeing what we can do with that. The last major series with the suspended mountain base started with bridges. This one started with walls, which was um, also a pretty big challenge, but uh, we'll see if the bridges posed as big of a challenge as the walls did here or the bridges did in the suspended mountain base. If you saw the last episode and you watched through it, you saw that it was quite the process trying to deal with getting these walls to not break the game. I think technically there's two pieces. I actually filled in, I think right over here was one of the sections that I rebuilt and filled that in. So now that's actually connected, but there's one spot over here. I think there's just one spot. I might be missing a spot actually, but as far as, I mean, it's really, it's really hard to see any discrepancies, but over here, there's actually a discrepancy. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Actually, if I look at the floor, it'll probably be easier for me to see. There we go. So right here is a discrepancy. So I, I read your comments, I took your advice, and some of you were saying use wedge pieces to fill in the gaps because technically these are not actually connected. The wedge piece does not actually connect at the point. So you can actually cover the gap without merging them into a single piece. So we have wedge pieces going all the way through there, going all the way up there, and even up at the top. Is there an elevator nearby? Yes, there, oh, oh, oh get on the elevator, get on the elevator. Yeah, so we can take the elevator up. You can see like the, at least for me, the frames are looking pretty good. I'm getting 130. Oh, now actually up here on the bridge, it jumped down to 35 for a second as I move around. It's between 130 to 35. It jumps up and down as I move. But then you can see the wedge pieces are right here. It's just a little bit of a different texture. And I couldn't, this part was difficult trying to fill this stuff in without it connecting. I had to be very, very careful with every piece that I put in here to make sure that nothing connected with the other side. And I think I did it because nothing broke the game, nothing lagged out the game too much. But yeah, we have, uh, we have a pretty solid wall now and I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, uh, didn't realize about this here. I think that's just something that we're gonna have to deal with. Because if I connect those, then that these become a single solid piece. So that's the that's the biggest discrepancy that we're going to have in this wall here. There's another one over here. Why is there another one over here? This is one piece, right? I think I can connect this one. All right, I just backed up the world just in case, but I'm going to connect this. Ah, yeah, no problem. No problem connecting those. So I just did a run around, and I think I may have made a mistake, but at the same time, it's not a huge mistake. And that is... I think this is all this is actually one piece because this is the only spot I'm seeing right now where there's a separation which means that it's just a big U with one gap so I think technically we kind of did it so like if I connect these right here huh all right we have a solid wall I don't know how I feel about that I feel like maybe I should make a separation at some point and it'll probably boost my performance a lot, but we don't have to right now. So I'm not going to do that. We'll deal with that once the world gets a little bit too laggy later on. So before we get to the bridges, one thing I want to say is um, I need some tips on how to arrange inside here. Hopefully we can do this because I want to weld some things uh, to the ground here and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do that. Things are a little bit laggy. You can see like when I place things down, it lags a little bit, and now I don't have the ability to delete this. 
for some reason. Yeah, this 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 world seems to be a little bit a little bit broken. I can't delete pieces right now. Hold on, let me place another one down. There we go. Now I can delete pieces. So I'm thinking like um the main thing is we're gonna need like a command post, right? We're gonna need like the main command station that they can uh derive into. I'm assuming that when we go into the gate, we're probably gonna make some roads and stuff, but I think it should be like one straight shot to the center and somewhere in the center is going to be a big command post now remember with your builds don't make them too complex not a whole lot of moving parts not a whole lot of individual pieces uh try to keep it mostly to draggable pieces because i think they have the least uh load the least lag because they, they're not registered as individual blocks we need to optimize this place going forward because uh that wall is a doozy but yeah, so give me advice on what you'd like to see in here. I'm thinking the command post is the main thing. We're probably going to want some um, some barracks. We're probably going to want some some turrets, maybe some some guard towers and stuff. So think about that kind of thing, and we'll see what happens going forward. But bridge time. Here, let's close the door, make sure nobody can get in. Ah, I love that door. But, all right, it is now bridge time. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen over here. Now the bridges range from relatively simplistic to somewhat complex. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to figure out exactly what the game can handle. Now, th this is pretty cool too. We have bridge segments here. So the main thing is gonna be the size. Can the bridge fit a vehicle? So let's see, uh, let's spawn a couple of these things in here. I have no idea how, ooh, ooh, okay. This one's actually bigger than I thought. I like, I like this, un, like this curved, like these metal sections here. So let's go ahead and let this thing fall to the ground here. Ah, yeah, this could definitely handle some vehicles. It's very, very big. Very big. I like the guardrails a lot. Let's go ahead and spawn another bridge section in. So this is a pretty cool little bridge section here. Let's see how big it is. All right, it's a it's a, definitely a lot smaller than that one, so we'll have to take the ooh. This one's got all kinds of lights and stuff, and I really really like this design here. My the only problem with this is what if we use this and span it all the way across there? I don't know how many of these sections we're gonna have, but it's full of timers, it's full of these slope pieces, and these are things that all make it look incredible, but also really add to the load that the game is going to be with all these individual pieces. So I don't know if this is gonna to be too laggy or not, but I really, really like the design of this. And also it is a little bit, let, let's let's go ahead and just, like, let's look for a truck. We're gonna find like, try to find like the biggest truck that we have here. All right, so this is this is one we used last time. I could have barely fit through there. So, so if this one can barely fit through there, the question is, can it fit on the bridge? All right, so this is what we're looking at. It looks like it's pretty much like exactly the same size as the doorway over there because it fits, but the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the bolts, the screw bolts there, they stick out just along the edge. And that's exactly what would happen with the door over there. Now, the problem with that is when we get to the T intersection, this thing is going to be completely unable to make that turn. So, unfortunately, I think this bridge is just a little bit too small. However, we could just widen it. That actually wouldn't be difficult at all. We just have to cut it in half, add a couple of blocks, and then we expand it. So, another section is this. Oop. Where'd it go? Where? Where? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Oh, we just pushed ourselves to the... Okay, that is a lot bigger a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Did I mess up? Did I mess something up? Why is my game so laggy right now? I think we may have broken something. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, what are we looking at here? Wow, these are big. These are very... Um, there's a wall piece over here. What just happened? All right, we're back and this wall piece is actually 
on the ground now instead of under the ground. So that was really weird how the ground just kind of broke. Um, I've seen that happen before when the tile update first came out, but not since the recent update. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. But the world seems fixed. Everything seems fixed. So let's, uh, let's go back to the bridges. Let's look at that second bridge, this thing. So this actually seems really complex here. Now the question is, how do we get up onto these bridges? Whoa, these bridges have cat- I just- Are those catwalks? Oh wait, maybe not. Wait, hold on. Hold on a sec. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on with these bridges. Here, let's uh, let's build it. Oh! Oh! That's how you get up on the bridges. Okay, this needs to be welded to the ground for sure. Probably- I, Wow, this is laggy. You know what? I really, really like the way these bridges look, but the lag is so much right now. Hold on, wait. Let's try to spawn the other set. Maybe this set's laggy because this is like the entrance set and it has the bearings on it. So let's go to the other set, which is this set, which has, I think, the straight sections without the bearings. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, so this isn't quite as laggy. All right, so now let's take a look at what we got going on here. Oh, there is a catwalk. Look at this, these bridges even have catwalks underneath. That's actually really cool. It's really hard to choose which set of bridges I want to use. But this one is definitely, I think, definitely wide enough. More than wide enough. It comes down to this. Do we want to try the more complex bridge, like this one, at the risk of lagging out the game even harder? Or do we want to play it safe? And go for the simple one. However, this one doesn't have a T intersection or like a set or anything like that. Or what we could do is we could just widen this one a bit. This one's a little bit less complex. You know, I'm realizing there's another disadvantage with this is that it actually does have a roof. So we have a height limit on creations as opposed to the other bridges as well. So these are all great bridges that have their own ups and downs uh, as far as the application to the base. We have this one by Jewel Link. That has a really cool little, the, the, the really cool color scheme, like the really cool painting and this awesome wedge little design here. We've got these huge ones by Gigabit that might be just a little bit too complex if we're gonna be, if we're gonna continue building in this world. And then we have this simple one by Rubik's, which might be the safest one for us. However, we've also got some other bridges like we have this one by L9X2000 which is definitely too small for vehicles. However, we could use this for like some catwalks and stuff or things going around, maybe some walkways that go through the base. Like these are some pretty cool, like futuristic kind of walkways here. I like it a lot. So there's a lot of interesting like bridge and walkway kind of features that we have to choose from. So I think for the sake of this episode, what we're gonna do is let's, let's go with the simple bridge because I don't want to break the world any more than I've already have. So now we just got to figure out how to weld the bridge over here and then have it also be accessible. And then we can worry about the T intersection later. It shouldn't be too hard to make a T intersection out of this. So somehow this is going to go across here. Now the question is, what is going to be the best way to manage this? I almost feel like I should start on that side so I can center myself. And then wherever we end up over here is where we're going to end up. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and carry this thing over there. Okay. All right. So that's the thing that's happening right now. Oh boy. Did you guys just see what happened? Oh, this world is so broken. This world is so broken right now. Okay. Somewhere here, we're just going to fall through the ground. You ready for this? And he's like it now. There we go. Oh boy, this is bad. This is really bad. All right, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna exit and come back in and see if it's fixed. Cause it seems like when we re when we reload the world, it keeps changing whether or not it's fixed. All right, all right, we're back and it looks fixed. All right, let's just walk around a little bit more. Let's just make sure that we have solid ground beneath us. Man, these alien exper experiments have really been messing with the fabric of reality in this world here. So, uh, we have to keep resetting. <laughs> we have to keep resetting the world in order to get our reality back. All right, now that I'm looking at the scale of this thing, I'm really glad that, like, it doesn't seem like we're gonna need too many pieces to actually make it. 
So this might not be too big of a project. So now I'm trying to get like a center point and I think like almost, almost right where I am is going to be like the center of where this bridge should be. So I'm gonna mark this out. We're gonna go ahead and put this right there. That's pretty much gonna be like the weld point. So I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know the best way to weld this over here. I hope I can, hope I can view the right static. Is this gonna fit? Uh oh, it's colliding. It's got that little collision right there. So you know, we're just gonna extend it out just a little bit. All right, that looks like it's gonna work. All right, we have the beginnings of the bridge. Readjust this pillar here. That way we should be able to delete this. All right, there we go. We have the start. So now let's go for our wedge pieces. Oh, this is actually cutting it kind of close almost. Oh, no, that looks good. That looks good. All right, so that's a lot of one by 10 wedges that we're going to have to put down here. You know what, but let's just do a quick test. Let's make sure if we just have this one there. Oh, that right there is frustrating. Oh, we were so close to having it be like perfect. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy with this. I don't, I don't know if I'm prepared to deal with that little discrepancy right there to be honest it's just it's just a really frustrating little thing that i feel like doesn't need to be like that all right we're gonna have to cancel it we're just gonna have to cut it we're gonna have to build this in reverse we have to start with the slope so we know exactly where the slope needs to begin in order to get over this section of rock here so i think if we start right here is this going to be enough it looks like this could do it oh maybe not Maybe not, because look, if we go from here, this is where it's not gonna happen. It looks like this might be our safe zone. I'm just gonna play this as our safe zone. I'm taking a little bit of a risk there, depending on how wide the bridge is from that center point, but let's just go with that and hope that this measurement works out. That's how construction goes, right? You just uh, you just make a guess and then hope it works out with your measurements. All right, so now we need to line up with the center point, and then we need to build the slope up to once it gets to the center then we will have our point of connection all right here we go so now that is where we connect and that should allow us to have a nice easy slope going all the way up thanks rubix again for creating this really cool looking bridge keeping it simple not keeping it too complex but also making it look nice it's very simplistic and elegant there we are all right it's looking good so far and yeah, check that out. We're, we should be safe. Now we just have to put all of these wedge pieces in. Whoops, I did this one totally wrong. It's put all of these wedge pieces in. Whoops, I did it wrong again. It's put all of these wedge pieces in to give ourselves a smooth ramp up onto this bridge. And look, it's not even, it's not even protruding that much into here. So I think this is going to be safe. So now we just need to finish this ramp, test it out, and then we have to weld the bridge all the way to the other end and then build the downside of the ramp, which now that I think about it, I hope it works out on that end too. And we have done it and this thing is pretty much perfect. We've managed to get the edge right down to... Wait a minute. All right, so it's not perfect. It's not, not exactly perfect. There's just one little thing here and it's really annoying. Just that little one little thing right there. But you know what? I think I think we can live with that. Now let's just test out the entrance, see if it works. We're gonna use the uh, our reference vehicle here for size, because I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if we have anything that's wider than this, but this thing is pretty wide. So let's just see how this thing deals with the bridge. Oh, it looks like it might even fit on one half of the bridge. There we go. Can it make it up? It can make it up. Excellent. And look at that. It easily fits on half of this bridge. So this is excellent. This is really awesome. All right, so now we just have to continue the bridge to the other side and see if uh, we can get it to match up over there. I really hope it matches up over there because if we just put all this work in on this slope and measuring all this stuff out and it doesn't work over there, I'm going to be a very, very, very sad scrap man. All right, here we go. Weld number one. Successful. This isn't going to be too bad. So the method I'm using to make it so that I can easily weld it is I'm actually uh, just deleting this here and I'm doing that deleting that and now we just have a weld point right there that fits right underneath the center of the bridge. Oh, and I can actually spawn the bridge on top of the bridge so this will go much smoother. Now I should just actually be able to take that and put it right there. 
Look at that. This is excellent. This is gonna work out really well. <gasps> I think we only have like one more piece left already. This is like four pieces. This is turning out to be not too bad at all. Let's see how this works. All right, go ahead and grab it by the end. Weld it right there. Come on. There we go. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know what? I think... I think if we just put the wedge pieces in now, we should be able to make it to the ground. This is the farthest point, so this is where we have to test it from. Look at that. I think we have made a successful bridge from one side to the other. So now I just have to create the ramp over here, and then we are ready to actually drive from one plateau to the other, do the test on the bridge, and then after that, we just gotta create the T-intersection. All right, and this side of the bridge is now done, so now let's do our first test of a full complete bridge. Not the entire plan to the bridge, but one solid section from one plateau to the other. Let's spawn in our trusty truck here by Saget and give it a drive. Here it goes. First test from one plateau to the other, and I'm not getting like any like lag or anything, which is really good, so this isn't it was exactly what I, what I was hoping. It's a simple enough bridge that putting a bunch of pieces of it together is no problem at all. And look at that. We have it. We have bridge. All right, so now we got to figure out how to do the T intersection. All right, so where is a good spot? I'm guessing like somewhere right around here, right? Now we got to figure out actually how wide is this bridge? So that way we know exactly how wide to cut out for the T intersection. So I'm thinking I'm going to place the center of the bridge right around here. So we're just going to go ahead and, oops, delete some of this. Okay, so now from the center point, how far do we have to go? One length, two lengths, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so two lengths plus seven. So here we go. We got our center point, and we got one length, two lengths, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think the bridge should fit perfectly into here. I right, just gotta get ready to catch this. Catch it! Nailed it. All right, here we go again. So we got one length, two lengths, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means we gotta delete from here over this way. All right, gotta get ready to catch it again. Quick reflexes. All right, there we go. So now that should be our weld point for this next section. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll delete and we'll make this and that. And now our bridge should be able to weld perfectly in between there. So let's spawn in our bridge. Now I just gotta grab it by the end. There we go. And hope that I have measured correctly. It is red. Why is it red? All right, hold on. Let's see if we can get it to stay there. Oh, apparently I have not measured correctly. Oh, you know why? Hmm. I measured correctly for the width of the ground of the bridge, but not the width of the handle or the guardrails. So it looks like we have one, two, three, an additional three. It looks like I have to just go like this, and it looks like it'll be able to go around, around that section. One, two, three. Whoops. We just lost some of the guardrail there. Oh, no! No. Well, that's frustrating. Well, that's okay. We have some cleanup to do down here anyway. All right, so now it should fit, I hope, just by deleting those couple of blocks. Look at that. We got white. We got white. And we got welding. Okay, so now I guess we don't need, whoops, uh, don't need this section. And we can delete that and yeah, that looks good. This is looking actually pretty good. That matched up really well. All right, and now probably one, I hope one more length. If not, it's gonna be one and just a little bit of another one. So we're gonna have to make some cuts. Oh. Ooh, this might actually be kind of tough. Wait, hopefully, hopefully this works out. I hope this works out. I hope this plateau is a similar height. All right, here we go. How is this going to do? How is this going to match up? Come on, weld. Oh, we're having trouble welding now. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I don't let that rock sticks up a lot right there. I don't like that. 
I do not like that. So we have a little tiny section right here. So you know what that means to me? Two full lengths. So we're just gonna have to spawn in the bridge and then sever it at about two full lengths. All right, so I don't think this is gonna be a difficult solution. All we need to do is, and then we just gotta break it right here. So now this tiny little section right here should weld pretty well to right there if I can actually get myself over there without interfering with the bridge, which I am doing right now. Come on, don't interfere with, I'm gonna trap myself under here. Uh-oh, it's not working. You know what that means? There's a collision somewhere. Here, hold on, let's put it there. And now we can see where the collisions are. It's like we're colliding with that rock right there. And this rock right here. So you know what? I'm going to take... You no, know it's not colliding with this rock. It's just colliding with that one. I'm going to take one section off. I'm just going to take this one last section off. So I hope that just getting rid of this part should have it no longer collide. Nope, there's still a collision somewhere. Where's this one? It's not over here. So it must be with that. Why don't we try... So we have two sections that we need to cut off. I'm just going to cut them from underneath. We're going to leave the top part, but I'm going to cut it from underneath. We're just going to disconnect them from here. Okay, so now without those, hopefully the collision will be gone and we can actually weld this. Oh, we have white. We have white. Now the question remains, if we put the wedge pieces on, are we able to get over? Yes. Yes. All right, we have it. Now we're just going to put the ramp here again, and I think we will be pretty much finished with the actual bridge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we may have actually done it. Uh, there's one little discrep one little thing here that's annoying me, which is this plant. This plant is sticking up through here, but you know what? Can't can't have can't have everything go our way. Um, actually, we can't have. Oh wait, is there is there a gap there? Is there? Do we have to put more? Do we really? It looks like there might be just a slight little gap, which I am not satisfied with. Yep, there's a s Why is this lagging me? Nothing was lagging me before just now. Why does placing this lag me? That's really weird. I don't understand why that's happening. Alright, well... Did, did just placing anything on this bridge do that? What? Placing something on the ground? What? Only when I place blocks down here does it lag me. Look at that. I don't understand. Okay, well, we just gotta put a couple more wedge pieces down. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can just, like, get it right in that little slot there. Alright, this isn't working too bad. The question is when we get over to that really, really small area, is it gonna be able to detect that I'm actually putting it on the block and not the terrain? All right, we're getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Perfect. All right, now we just got to paint it and we're really done. Okay, so I think I think we are ready. I think we are ready to test out the bridge in its final form. We didn't have any major issues, I don't think, with this one. Um, oh, speaking of which, let's uh, back up the world right now before anything terrible happens and we can't use it anymore. All right, and now for the ultimate and final test of the bridge. We're going to see if this thing actually works. And it looks, you know what? It looks smaller than I thought it was going to be as like a project. But you know what? That's okay. Sm smaller is going to be better now because we don't want to break this world. We want to keep adding creations to it without breaking it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's drive on the right side of the road here. Now we're going to have to actually make an, a, some do some painting for this uh, intersection here. We're going to have to cut out some of the paint in the middle maybe. All right. And let's go ahead and take a left over here. We have perfect turning radius for this bridge. All right. And then we just got to turn on into our tiny little gate here in comparison to that bridge now. And uh, come on. Uh, dang it. <laughs> oh, that is not good. We are definitely stuck. We are definitely stuck. This truck is just... Oh. All right, we're going out this way. This truck is literally just like one block. One block too much. Ooh, it is laggy in here. Oh, wait. not. Is it laggy in here? It feels laggier in here. 
how is it driving around in here? 60 FPS? You know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think we may have something though. I think we're maybe on to something. It seems like it seems like the world's coming along. I feel like we have potential. So again, what I'm gonna be looking for in the future episodes now is buildings to put in here. Leave comments down below on what kind of buildings you think you wanna see in here. And on, on the top level, we're gonna focus on top level first and then we can dig down underneath. We're gonna save things like reactor cores and like research stations should be underground. What should be on top of ground? We definitely need like the headquarters. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll see what kind of headquarters buildings that we have to look at. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're too fat, man. You're too fat. Just look, look at the... Look at the clearance. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's just literally these bolts on the wheels. Like, if I just get rid of these bolts, we're gonna fit. You know what? Just to prove that. Just to prove it. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Because I really want to see this thing fit through here with just this tiny little modification. All right, now that the bolts have been cut off the wheels, look at that, perfect, perfect. All right, well, I'm gonna go across the bridge for the end of the episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you think of the bridge. I know it's simplistic. There were some more detailed ones, but uh, for the sake of being able to include more creations in this world, I think I'm gonna be focusing on simpler stuff. So um, if you're building something big, Try to optimize it for objects, uh, so that way it's not going to take up too many resources that'll uh, prevent other people from having their creations in here as well. And if you have something small, you can probably make it a little bit more complex, but um, for stationary big objects, try to uh, keep it relatively simple so that way we don't, we don't lag out the world and put an early end to this series that we don't want. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the feedback, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, buildings we're going to be putting into this base. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.